All right, so let me go through my loadouts here. People have been asking about it. This is for range only. Like, all, both my Grau and my uh, M4 is for range. But no matter how I do it, the Grau just gets better at range. So the muscle is the monolithic suppressor. Uh, I have this stock. The GI uh, Miniflex, I've tried both with and without. And I like it with the Miniflex on. Uh, I have the Ranger foregrip. Uh, some people want to use the Commando foregrip, but I don't. I've tried it. I have a, I have a Grau with the Commando foregrip on my 16 kills solo win uh, from a few days ago, but I've I've put uh, the Ranger back again. 60 rounds. You might actually do better with 50 rounds uh, in some cases, but. I don't know, it's so situational, like if you're shooting cars, if you have a longer engagement and stuff stuff like that. 60 rounds is good for squad, I think, and 50 rounds maybe is better for solo, because it uh, the extra 10 rounds do have some drawbacks. If you compare like this, you see it, it has some drawbacks, actually quite significant. Okay, not that much, but yeah. So that's for the M4. Uh, the AUG, I have it really upgraded. My MP7, looks like this. Monolithic. FSS SWAT. TAC laser, might replace that. This uh, four-door grip. Tactical. And 50 rounds. Uh... Grau, this is my, probably the one that I'm the most, oh, I have this one on now. No wonder I'm screwing that, okay, I thought I had already put it back on. So, I've been using this for a while to try it out, but, and to some people, this is probably really good. But I prefer... The Ranger, they so they are so similar, you know. Ranger versus Commando. See how similar they are. You see all these green lights there, but it, it's actually the same. It's actually the same. Ah, this one is better. I've been using that. I'm going to put that one on again. I I felt a little bit uncertain. Uh, un, um, I, f I felt that the weapon is a little bit unstable at very long ranges. Uh, the, the problem with this is like, I know, I know a lot of people prefer the Commando foregrip. Here, here's the problem, that, and I've seen this in so many games, so many games when we talk about range, is that the word range is very, very subjective. A lot of people will say long range about the things that I call medium range. And then the thing that I call long range, they don't even shoot. They say if they don't have a, f a sniper, they don't even shoot. And I have a lot of really, really long range kills where I demonstrate why this is built for range. But it, that also comes with the drawbacks. So, you know, keep this in mind when you see people talking about range. Or what kind of range is range to this person and that person and so on and so forth, right? And that's why I, I think I felt a little bit more comfortable with, uh, with this one. And, of course, my MP5. I changed my MP5 recently. Uh, what am I doing? So, we have this one. Monolithic integral suppressor. I removed the laser and I put on this collapsed stock. Tactical foregrip, 45, uh, 45 rounds, and granul granulated grip tape. Okay, I don't even know how to say that, but granu granulated, granulated, granulated. Well, 
Uh, and this one is built not for accuracy. Like, if you if you think about this as 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 uh, for stability and accuracy and stuff, that, that's not how my my uh, submachine guns are built. I have to have a weapon that allows me to sprint fast, and and uh, that's how I prioritize my SMGs. So, well, that's basically how I built, uh, or th that's the builds I have now that I feel most comfortable with. So yeah.